This is a pattern for a sound threat for um, a marquetry long case from about 1720. Uh, they were normally cut in pear wood um, and in the solid, but it, it's they're not very strong. So what I tend to do is make them in ply. So I make me ply up myself by using pear wood for the face, and I just use sycamore for the core and the back. I'll glue them together with animal glue. Um, it's not because of any traditional reason. It's just that animal glue dries very brittle and it cuts a lot cleaner than if you use something like PVA. Once I've assembled them, I wrap them in greaseproof paper so I can remelt the glue. And then I'll just pop them in a press until they're dry. So I've drawn on the back the pattern, which is half the pattern, and I'll take the two together with masking tape uh, and then I'll be able to drill and fret out the uh, pattern. When you start drilling the holes, you need to push the two pieces of plywood together tightly so that when you drill it, you don't get a build-up of sawdust in between. Because um, what happens then is when you start cutting it out, uh, you'll end up with a really poor finish on the face side of this top one. When you're cutting, you still need to keep pressure to keep the two pieces together for the same reason as when you drill them. You don't want any waste pushing the two pieces apart. Now they've all been cut out, what I need to do is overlap the centre and cut the join line. I've trimmed them down to size uh, so they're a nice snug fit. Uh, next I'm going to paint the inside edge. Just painting the inside edge with a mixture of French polish, brown umber and vegetable black. And what it does is it disguises the fact that it's plywood but even if I did it in solid pear wood I'd still do this. Um, because the inside edge would have been built up with dirt and grime. It's supposed to be about 300 years old. So even if you did it 
out of pair and you didn't do this it just looked too new and fresh and you need it to look old so when I finish this I'll be able to sand the front face down and then polish it Once it's sanded down, uh, you can see where it's bled in. Uh, it doesn't really matter, it helps it look old. If you want to avoid that, you just put a coat of French polish on before you paint the edge. I've now polished it with uh, several coats of button polish, um, then cut it back quite carefully for obvious reasons. Um, then I've glued on some white cotton on the back uh, and coloured it just with a couple of coats of French polish. Uh, now it's ready to go in the case. Uh, this is another one. Um, it has a straight join down the middle. Um, it just depends on the design really. Uh, but this design is uh, from this one. Uh, I had to alter it slightly to fit the case that it's going in. But it's uh, this is from about 1705, 1710, something like that, uh, from an ebonised case. Uh, but it is pear wood. Uh, this is a soundtrack for a, a marquetry long case that I actually made uh, about 30 years ago, which is that there. It, uh, it fell over and got damaged, a bit unusual restoring things that you made yourself. Uh, that's the um, original one that, that got broke. Uh, as I've only got to make one of these, I've had to drop the pattern on the face side uh, rather than on the back and pair them together. Uh, so it's a bit more cleaning up to get all the lines off, but uh, it's not a problem. So that's that one finished. Um, that one has got a little bit of damage there, but it's not worth recutting just for that. Uh, this just needs the edge painting in now and then polishing, uh, and then it can go in.